welcome back my painting friends today we are going to make a christmas beach scene with a couple of flamingos on it so i have my 11 by 14 canvas the colors i'm going to use are blue white yellow pink black brown red and green i have my four favorite brushes my one inch flat brush as well as my number 10 number four and number one brown brush don't forget to have a cup of water handy for keeping your brushes clean and a rag or paper towel handy. So let's get started. I'm going to first um, create my sky, my water, and my sand. We'll let that dry and come back. So with my big brush and with my straight blue paint, I'm going to make a waved line right here on my canvas. This is going to be where my water meets my sand. And just above that, about halfway between there and the top, I'm just going to make a straight line. So everything up there is going to be the sky. Everything down here is water. Down here, I'm gonna use my straight blue color. And on the top, I'm gonna to do about 50% blue, 50% white. I wiped my brush off instead of washing it off. I just wiped it off because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take just a little bit of pink on my brush and I'm gonna dot it along the top line of my water. Then I'm just gonna pull that color across. What that's gonna do is it's gonna darken up that back line just a little bit with a really pretty purple color and give us a really solid line between our sky and our ground. So now I can go ahead and wash my brush off and then the sand color is going to be mostly white with just a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown. So a lot of white down here, a touch of yellow and even less brown. Just mix that up right on your canvas and paint your whole sand in. We're gonna let this dry when we come back we will add in our palm trees and our flamingos all right friends it's been a couple days since I painted I thought I would finish this all in one day but that did not happen so let's get back to where we were on painting our beach scene um, first things first is I am going to um, add in my palm tree so I'm gonna use my number 10 round brush with a little bit of brown paint on it and my palm tree is going to be sent right here. So it's just going to be a curved line, almost like a backwards letter C. Okay. Long curved line. And the base of this is just going to be slightly larger than the top. So as I go over and I kind of turn this into a rectangle, um, my base is only a little bit wider than my top. So it's not like a, a regular tree that we paint where the base is almost double the size of the top. It's really pretty spot on. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of white paint and I'm going to add it right, right on this edge right here. Just going to smooth it on out. Go ahead and wash that brush off. I'm gonna move down now to my itty bitty round brush. My number one round brush. And with that, I'm gonna take some watered down brown paint and I'm gonna lay out where my um, 
palm fronds are gonna go. So from right here, I'm gonna make a short one that just kind of bops down right here. And these are just curved lines to kind of help me decide where I'm gonna put my, my greenery next. Maybe just a short one that kind of sticks up there. Now, you guys know I like to do things in odd numbers, so I have to add an extra one in. We're gonna put one more right there. Now the palm fronds, I'm gonna kind of zoom you in to show you how we're gonna make these. And then I'm gonna go into speed motion because there's a lot of these to put on. So for each one of these palm fronds, I am going to use a mixture of both um, green paint and yellow paint. And I'm going to have them kind of falling down. So with my itty bitty brush and some green paint and some yellow paint on it, I'm gonna start right here at the base of these and I'm just gonna kind of pull that color down. I don't mind if some of that brown gets mixed in. Um, if I feel like I've got too much yellow on there, I'll just grab some green for my next pull. So just a little bit of yellow and green, making small little lines that just kind of fall off of this line. And then for the top side of it, it's really just lines that kind of, they really follow straight along that edge. They don't pop up too far. So the bottom ones really go down and the top ones really kind of pull along the curved line of that branch. So now that you see how to make this, I'm gonna put these myself in speed motion and I am going to lay out all my palm fronds. Now that I've got my palm tree finished up for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my sky a little bit and my water. So I'm gonna use some white paint on my finger and this is how I'm gonna make my moon. I know it's kind of a bright sky, but I'm still gonna pretend like it's the nighttime. So I'm gonna put my moon in there and with the back of my paintbrush, I can even go in and add a couple of stars in my sky. Um, I just feel like most winter Christmassy pictures, I like to have them be nighttime. Then below my moon, I'm just gonna add some white horizontal lines in the water just below the moon to show a little bit of that moon shine on the water. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit more white and just kind of make a couple of ripples in my water. And then let's lay out where our flamingos are gonna go. So I'm gonna wash my brush off and I'm gonna paint my flamingos white first and I'll add the pink on the top. So I'm gonna do white paint with my number four round brush. Um, I'm gonna have one flamingo be right here. And how I'm gonna start this, I'm just gonna make a smiley face. See that? Big old smiley face right there. And the top of it, well, we're going to make the top of the body. It's not going to be as curved as that. So the top is more of like a flattened out smiley face. I'm gonna add a little tail feather to the back. And then I'm gonna add a curved neck a long letter S and then same thing frowny face smiley face for the head go ahead and fill that in with your white paint my second one is going to be looking over there at the moon so I'm going to make a almost what it would look like a heart, but you don't have that little bump in the middle. Okay, so teardrop shape right here and fill that in with white paint. And 
he's again going to have a curved neck. And he's going to be looking over here at this guy. Look at this little beak. Now for their legs, I'm going to switch back to my itty bitty brush and some black paint. And if you remember, their legs bend backwards. So if I'm going to make his leg bend, then I am going to have to go backwards and down. I can make this one go straight if I want. Maybe he's going for a walk. Look at his little feet. Just three little nubs on him. This one right here, I'm just gonna make his leg straight. All right, we're gonna let these little guys dry and we come back, we're gonna add in all of our final details. Some lights on our Christmas trees, some pink on our flamingo. Let's let this dry and come right back, we'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and put our first layer of pink onto these cute little flamingos. Um, I'm just gonna paint everything that's on them pink. With my itty bitty brush, I'm gonna grab some watered down black paint and I'm gonna put some lights on my palm tree. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right down here at the bottom and I'm gonna kinda swoop out and then up at an angle and then back in. So it kinda looks like it's wrapping around the tree. And again, my paint is watered down. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna swoop out, up around and back in. And then I'm also gonna put some on my palm fronds. So I'm just gonna kind of make some little wavy lines just that I have a place to attach my lights to. Then my lights themselves, I'm actually gonna use um, a different paintbrush that's got a little bit of a rounder end to it. And I'm just gonna use the colors that I have on my palette. So um, you can make yours a pattern, however you want, but I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna make small little up and down marks. So I could put them below my line or on top of my line, but I'm gonna go through and put all my red ones on and then I'm gonna do my next color and I'm gonna make mine a pattern of red, yellow, blue, green, and white lights. I am gonna put myself in speed motion because these are gonna take a while to put all of them on. But you can use any colors you want or you can totally skip out on the lights altogether. That's your artist choice. All right, let's get jump into speed motion and get all these lights on this tree. So back to these little flamingos, I'm gonna paint their beaks black. I'm 
I use the back of my brush to make them a small little black eye. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of black paint to kind of outline where the, the wing of this guy would be. This guy's wings would go right down here. I take a little bit of white paint on my brush just to give them some texture. So inside those wings, just a couple of small little lines to show that there's some feathers there. Uh, maybe even a couple right on the head, maybe down their neck. And if you add too much white, feel free to just go back in with a little bit of uh, pink and cover it up. I think this guy's head's got a little bit too much white, so I'm just going to go in with some pink and add another layer. Then I gotta think to myself, you know, do I wanna put Christmas presents under the tree? Well, I mean, I do. So I'm gonna add a couple of little Christmas presents under the tree just by making some squares and rectangles with my big paintbrush. Add a couple of bows on the top. Maybe even add a little bit of white to this. Ooh, that was a good idea. extra colors for my bows. Last but not least, I'm gonna add just a little bit of grass. I always like to add something else at the, at the base of my sand pictures. And if that green grass is too strong, just throw a little bit of yellow with it too. But I feel like when you're at the beach, you're probably gonna see some of those tall grasses. Of course, the last thing we need to do is find a color that is going to show up well on your canvas and sign your artwork. Now remember, I never get to see what you're making unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. So please take a picture of the art that you make with me, post it to our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose, so that I can see what you're making at home. Don't forget my friends, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.